right, Algebra 1, Lesson 88. This one is on quadratic equations and then solution of quadratic equations by factoring. Now, the first thing I want you to see is this says 4x minus, no, 4 minus 3x equals 2x squared. Now, what we're trying to figure out is how to come up with standard form. Okay, this is standard form. 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, now this equals 0 does not have to be there because you're used to seeing them like that, but you can have equal 0. It's okay um, because that's actually what you could see. So we're trying to come up with this kind of form. x squared minus 2x plus 4 and then equals zero. So if we were going to rearrange this, the equal sign is here. So what I would have to do is I'm trying to get this 2x squared over here. So it's a positive 2x squared. So when we bring it across, it becomes a negative 2x squared. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a plus negative. And so then I go plus negative 3x because I want x squared and then x to come next plus my 4. And then I can say equals zero. Okay, so I took this that they gave me and put it in standard form. We want it to look like this, okay? Just so you know. All right, now, we're going to talk about something real quick. Um, let's just say, uh, let's see if they give me this one. They actually give me one that's in standard form. So x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals zero. And what we're trying to do um, well, I'll teach that in just a minute because we're going to actually break this apart in just a second. But let's just pretend if x equaled 5, okay, well, then I'm going to put a 5 where x is. So 5 squared minus 3 times 5 minus 10 equals 0, okay? So all I've done is place the 5 where the x's are. So this would be 25 minus 15 minus 10 equals 0. 25 minus 15 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is 0, and so therefore 0 equals 0, which is good, okay? So they're just trying to show you how this comes out to equal 0, okay? I can put a negative 2 in there, put a negative 2 there, and a negative 2 there. It's still going to come out at 0 equals 0. I'm not actually going to do that one, okay? I just wanted to show you that. Now, let's move into the second part. It says solutions of quadratic equations by factoring. Okay, so here's an example of what they're going to give you. They're going to say, use the factor method to find the roots of this. Okay, so here we go. x squared minus 18 equals 3x. Okay, hopefully you can see real quick this is not in standard form. Okay, so what do we need to do to get it in standard form? Move this over. Okay, so I'm going to put x squared, and when I move this over, it's a positive 3x. So I'm going to make it a negative 3x, and then I'm just going to bring down this plus negative 18 equals 0. Okay, you can go slower than I do, and you'll eventually get to this. Um, I'm just doing quickly, okay? So now we've got it in standard form, square, and then just an x, and then a number equals 0. Now, hopefully you remember um, from pasts us doing this. Remember how to factor by looking at this and go x, x, and then we try to think of a number, blank times blank, that would also, when subtracted or added, would equal this. Do you remember doing that from previous lessons? So I'm going to choose 6 times 3. Because so 6 times 3 equals 18, and then 6 minus 3 equals 3. So that's a good choice, okay? And because I want it to be a negative 18, either the 6 or the 3 has to be negative. So if I were to make this one negative then that would give me negative 18, but would it give me negative 3? Well, negative 6 plus a positive 3 would give me a negative 3. So we've done it exactly right. Now, this is how far you've come so far up to this point. Now remember, I've got my negative or equals 0, and that's important because what I want you to see next is we're going to say you're going to take this one, x minus 6, and make it equal 0, and then we're going to take this one, x plus 3 equals 0. And basically you're saying, what does x have to be for this to equal 0? What does x have to be for this to equal 0? A positive 6, that we take away 6, 
to get zero. So x equals a positive six. Mm -hmm. On this one, it has, to be a negative three. it has to be a negative three. So if I put a negative three plus a three, it would equal zero. So then therefore x is negative three. Now, if I were to go up here to this original problem and put this positive six into that spot, we would get the right answer, like I did with the five earlier. Okay, so let's go and do this one, and I won't do this one. So here we go. X squared plus negative 18 equals 3x. I'm just going to go in and take the problem that they gave me and insert an x. So 6 squared plus negative 18 equals 3 times 6. So 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36, plus negative 18 equals 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, so 36 minus 18 is 18, and 18 equals 18. It's kind of be like zero equals zero, okay? So therefore, we got it right if we've put this six in and they both equal the same. Kind of like the zero equals zero. Okay, so, so let's do example 88.2. Here's what they give me. Negative 25 equals four x, negative four x squared. Now, again, <laughs> Um, this is not in standard form, so let's go ahead and put it in standard form. I'm going to move this minus or negative 4x and make it a positive 4x squared. And then I'm just going to bring down the plus negative 25 right here. So this equals 0, right? Okay, so I just changed this into a standard problem, okay? Now, remember, we have to come up by factoring, come up with these two. So what times what would equal 4x squared? 2x, right? 2x here and 2x here would give me 4x squared. Okay, what about 25? Five. Well, 5 times 5. Okay, does one of them need to be positive and one negative? Mm, yes. Yes, so I'm going to make this one positive and this one negative. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I were to do this, 2 times 2 it would be 4x squared. 2 times this would give me plus negative 10x. This times this would give me a positive 10x. And then this would give me a negative 25. These two would cross out because negative 10 dogs plus 10 dogs would give me 0 dogs. So then I would end up getting 4x squared plus negative 25, which is what we wanted. Okay, but we're not done yet. Remember, the next step to take from here um, is to equal 0. So we say 2x plus 5 equals 0. And then we say 2x minus 5 equals 0. You see what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I say, um, I'm going to go in and answer for x. That's what we're trying to get to is an x answer. So 2x and then this plus 5, I'm going to make minus 5. And you can put plus 0. It's not important at this point. Okay. And so then 2 times x. All right. So this is times 2. We're going to divide by 2. And so x, whoops x equals negative 5 halves. So what that's saying is, if I were to put this back in to that problem, it would say negative 25 equals negative 25, which is exactly what we would want. Okay? Same thing here. I would go 2x and then move this negative 5 to a positive 5, and then divide by 2, and so x equals 5 halves. Same thing. If I put it in here, it would come up and answer the correct. Okay, so that is to show you, um, if we were to put those in, this is what you're trying to come up with from now on. You've been taught to come up with this, and now you're going to come up with what is x. What is x? So you'll have two x answers, just so you know. All right, let's do the third one. And um, the, this next one um, is a little bit different. It's not too hard, but let's go on and write this one down. x minus 56 equals negative x squared. Again, this is not in standard form, so let's put it in standard form. I need to move this across the equal sign. So this becomes positive x squared plus my x minus my 56. I'm going to make that plus negative. Okay, equals zero. All right, again, we do x and x, 8 and 7, and I want a negative 56, but I want a positive when I add so I'm going to put the negative with that one. Do you see what I mean by that? You can take it slower if you need to. And again, you're going to go x plus 8 equals 0. Sorry. And then x minus 7 equals 0. And then you figure out what our x's are. Okay? 
Now, this next one's a little bit harder. Um, and this is what I want to show you. This is the last one. All right, here's what it says. 3x squared minus 6x equals 9. Okay, still not in standard form, and we need it to be. So 3x squared minus 6x, and I'm just going to move this positive 9 over to get a negative. Equals 0, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now, we've used, we're used to doing factoring, okay? But I want you to see, normally there's not a... Three there. It's not a negative. Do you remember what to do on this one? Hopefully you remember is that we can take um, the three out. And what I mean by that is... You put it on the outside of the parentheses. Right. Okay. Hopefully you remember that. So wait. I'm going to... Before I do this double one, let's just pretend because I've got a three here. Three will go into six here. Three will go into nine here. So I'm going to put three on the outside. Good job remembering that. So three will go into three X squared. And if you need to write it over here then that'll be x squared, okay? So if you want to do that, minus 3 will go into 6, Twice. 2, and then my x. Minus 3 will go into 9, 3, and that equals 0, mm -hmm. okay? So far, you see? And then we're going to take this and do our normal. So this is x, x, um, 3 times 1, and we do want a negative answer and a negative answer, so I'm going to put it on my biggest number. There you go. And then you say x minus 3. Whoops, I need to keep 3. Bring it down. So then this x minus 3 equals 0, and this x plus 1 equals 0. And then you try to figure out what x is. You don't even worry about this at this point. You still write it to show what you're doing, but you're still trying to come up what is x, what is x. Got it? All right, that is lesson 88.